Now, ABC 7 News at 5, on your side. Well, the man accused of landing a gyrocopter on the grounds of the U.S. Capitol is heading to home detention. Doug Hughes was arraigned in federal court about two hours ago. Suzanne Kennedy is there now live with the new developments in this case. Suzanne. Well, Leon, this is the first time we've heard the charges that he is facing, unlawfully operating an unregistered aircraft and violating national defense airspace. Court documents show that he intentionally violated the airspace in order to send a political message and that he was well aware of the fact that he could have been shot out of the sky. Hughes appeared in court in his postal uniform 24 hours after he was arrested on the west front of the Capitol. The 61-year-old was arraigned on federal charges stemming from flying a gyrocopter into restricted airspace. The flight was more than a year and a half in the making by a man who wanted to end government corruption. I'm trying to galvanize millions of people to do a relatively simple thing. Change the government to build a wall of separation between the government and big money. Hughes will be released on three conditions. He will be in home detention in Tampa. He will not be able to operate any aircraft, and he must stay out of Washington, D.C. You know, that is pretty scary. Wisconsin resident Rose Nod witnessed the gyrocopter's flight. We were walking down the National Mall when it happened, and we seen it fly past, but... I just thought it was weird and that, you know, anything could get in there like that. Visitors to the nation's capital are still shaken by what happened here Wednesday. Just, it makes me nervous to think that anybody could get something that close to our capital um, with anything attached. The potential is, you, is you know, could have been deadly. All right, thank you. Those charging documents that we've been going over show that Hughes chose the Gettysburg Airport because it was uncontrolled. Hughes left the courthouse here about an hour after his hearing with no clear way of getting back to Tampa. However, he will be back here in Washington, D.C. for another court hearing on May 8th. Reporting live in Northwest Washington, Suzanne Kennedy, ABC 7 News. Okay, thanks, Suzanne.